In this video, we will be looking at TBC 2024.00 Cloud Ecosystem Enhancements. We will look at the new connected workspace updates we made in TBC. Let's now have a look at the new connected workspace updates we've done in TBC. Let me upload data for us. And once the data is loaded, I will show you what the new remote save looks like for Triple Business Center. Input the data. And there we have our data loaded into Trimble Business Center. Now, if you'd like to export that directly to Trimble Connect, you will see in the export command window, we now have an additional remote save button to utilize to upload the data into Trimble Connect. So you can still export the data to your local hard drive or to external USB drive. For this exercise, we'll use a land XML. We'll select all the data. We will give it a name. And we will use triangles, always ask, and then simply click on remote save. That will then open up the connected workspace interface. And once that has been loaded up, you have to be signed in to your TID. We can go to our connected workspace project that I've already created for us. And now we simply tell it job one. You can change the name or leave it as is. We'll just leave it as is for now. And there we go. We have uploaded our data now into Trimble Connect. To have a look at the data in Trimble Connect, if we go to our Trimble Connect web interface, if you look at connected workspace, you will see the our uh, uploaded job one XML file is. If you don't have TBC and you want to quickly add some data to the project, you can simply do it in the web interface by selecting the file, dragging it, dropping it, and adding it into your connected workspace like that using the Trimble Connect web interface. So now we have uploaded all that data. So let's go have a look at how you get the data in Trimble Access. So if you go in there, you scroll down, and remember you need to be signed in with your TID. Go into the connected workspace and download that. There we have it. Then we select the files and accept. And there we go. You can now download those files to your Trimble Access. Now we just create a new job. Job one work. I will select the correct coordinate system. And that will be that one. No duet file for this. Project height will be 25. And store. Accept. And now when you go to your layer manager, you will see those two job files and we'll select them make them available and selectable if you then zoom to extents there we have all our data from our tbc project loaded into trimble access simply by selecting a point you can go stake it out as per normal let's quickly add a few survey points just to show you what that looks like oh, not what i wanted to do let's quickly add some spot shots won't do a care, we'll just leave it as that. Elevation 23, enter, store. We'll do a second one over there. And add a third point over there. Fourth one over there. Oops. Store it, that will help. Third point over there. fourth point over there 
and the last point. And let's say we have completed our work and we now want to upload the data back into Trimble Connect. Simply go to your connected workspace project. No, sorry, not the connected workspace. Go into the actual job file. There we go. In the connected workspace for that specific job file, you will now see the status. So you can change it to in progress. That will update the status. And you can assign it to anyone if you want to. If there's more than one guy in the team that needs it, you can do that. As you can see, it's now changed the status and uploaded it. And when you have completed, simply click on work completed. And you are done with that in Trimble Access. Quick note, if you want to back up your data regularly, if you go into the main menu on the cloud button, you can always set the file upload settings to automatic and you can tell it the intervals you would like to upload the data. So as you can set, see here, it's set to five minutes. You can change this to every half an hour, every hour, and you can then tick on when closing a job, when signing in, or when ending a survey and that will automatically upload the data into Trimble Connect. So there's an easy way to keep your data current and up to date by simply using that setting. Now that we're done with that, let's have a look back in Trimble Business Center. And we want to now import the data. So click on your Connected Workspace button. It will open up your Connected Workspace interface. As soon as it's uploaded, we go to the Connected Workspace. And now you will see we actually have a job one work file. And it shows that the field work was completed. Next up, you will get the information from the job file. And if you did any scans or images, it will show up there. And then five points that was done. Simply click on Import. And you will get asked, yes, we want to convert it to the job file coordinate system. And there we have it. Your data has been loaded into TVC. And that has now completed the Office to Field to Office workflow in the new Connected Workspace Enhancements you will find in Trouble Business Center.